Another camp has been stated to exist near Marseille, Illinois. There is a 300 foot by 300 foot area, is enclosed by fences and barbed wire, and an observation tower is located at each of the four corners of the facility. There is a reservoir connected to the camp, and fences inside break the facility into smaller yards. Observers suggest that it is large enough to hold 1,400 detainees. A letter to the editor in the July 1994 Patriot Report discusses the location of a t detainment facility in Winnemucca, Nevada, which I have had verified by other sources. Again, uh, conspiracy classic, Black Helicopters Over America, Strike Force for the New World Order by Jim Keith. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. With all that is going on in the world and with all of the uh, um, horrors that are being perpetrated upon people around the world, uh, it strikes me as rather odd that there is a great deal of concentration placed upon the death of Michael Jackson. Um, <clears throat> I think that it's terrible that people are drawn to such morbidity especially when there are so many more important things to be concerned about happening everywhere that do not include the death of Michael Jackson. First of all, you have the, uh, the synchronicity that it so often occurs in these situations where you have three deaths. First, we had Ed McMahon die, the old staple of the Johnny Carson Tonight Show. Um, then Farrah Fawcett and now Michael Jackson. Uh, Farrah Fawcett's death um, certainly has been overshadowed by Michael Jackson's. Um, but uh, why a fascination with death in the first place and why uh, so much media coverage and so much hype surrounding this whenever there are so many other more important things happening in the world? I mean, come on, people. Let's get realistic for a fucking moment here, okay? There are people being killed there are people being dragged off to jail, and there are people being uh, butchered in um, Gaza by the, the Palestinians, by Israel, in uh, Iran. The, uh, the true believers who are trying to enact some kind of change in that country, being beaten, being killed, being uh, uh, ruthlessly suppressed. Uh, there is uh, a great deal of human suffering in any number of countries around the world. There are so many things that people can focus on and say what a fucking shame it is and how terrible it is. And why can't you take a minute of any fucking day to look and see some of the calamities that are going on around the world? No. You can't even take the time to look into the major fucking crisis that the entire human race is going through. But yet, whenever Michael Jackson fucking dies you got to jump in there and crowd around the fucking courthouse and the coroner's office and everywhere else bemoaning the death of someone. Whenever there's so much other fucking human suffering going on in this world, you don't have the time for any of that. But whenever someone who is a fucking, at the end of the fucking day, a media uh, created thing... And furthermore, someone who has a history of, let's just say, dalliances with children. None of this has ever been proven in a court of law, and I know that the Constitution says that people are guilty, I mean, innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So in this particular instance, I am a hypocrite because, uh, because of his statements and because of his actions, dangling his kids out of a fucking window, saying it's okay to sleep with children when you're, you know, in your 40s or whatever. You're a grown man sleeping with young, very young children. And the accusations of pedophilia and molestation that have uh, plagued him throughout the years, I think uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. And I would rather uh, be called a hypocrite for not uh, promoting the idea of uh, constitutional protection in this particular case than to say he deserves any kind of fucking focus. Ever! Just because he fucking died, we have everybody in the whole fucking world focused on this? 
when there are so many other things going on around the world? Give me a fucking break. He was a freak. A freak. And he's dead. Big fucking deal. Look in your own back page of your fucking newspaper and read a couple stories. Find out what's really going on around the world and in this country. You're going to mourn for the death of a freakish, child-molesting, past pop sensation when there are people who may be down the street from you being thrown out of their fucking house and not having the money to afford food for their family. That's a greater human tragedy than a freakish, child-molesting, ex-pop sensation dying. In fact, I'd go further to say that if you're going to mourn anybody's death, mourn Farrah Fawcett's more than you should mourn Michael Jackson's. But why mourn any of their deaths whenever you have deaths that are true monstrosities happening everywhere in the world? Why don't you mourn the loss of lives of young children who can't get enough to eat in Africa and Southeast Asia? Why don't you mourn the deaths of protesters? Mourn the deaths of people who are trying to gouge out a better life for themselves? No. You don't have time for that. All you have time for is to mourn the loss of a past pop sensation, something that was created by the media establishment. Someone who is sick and perverted. He may have been made that way, certainly. He may have grown up in an environment that encouraged that behavior. But ultimately, everybody makes choices. Here was a sick, twisted freak who is now dead. And yet, everybody has nothing but eyes totally focused on that. Wake up. Stop this ridiculous fucking show. And start putting your eyes and your attention on something that really matters. Thank you. Good night.